sexy girls sexy girls of the state today i have some things that i'm going to share with you for basically my idea is an artistic like cleansing and focus of the mind to create like artistic projects and to work on things and it it's kind of like a way to filter through things in your head and to also bring things into focus and that's my idea and it sounds more pretentious than it is but i'll show you you'll get an idea in a second so first of all i have all my rings on first of all basic kind of glam today not as much makeup i've noticed that i'm like becoming like less like i love putting on a lot of makeup like as artistic expression but i've noticed that i'm like not as comfortable like making videos without a lot of makeup on which is like kind of bad so we're doing like basic glam today but basically um so first of all i'm gonna show you my rings i want to do like i'm not like trained in reiki but i do like with have intention with every single ring i put on when i like do things and there's some that i wear every day but some that i don't um it also depends on i broke a couple of my favorite rings recently which sucked okay so first of all we have a clotter ring which is super cute and i am irish a little bit i think that like i don't know i think that like cultures that have like like um like paganism and witchcraft are like so cool i don't know i think i'm more scottish than irish though so if i was gonna like be into witchcraft i feel like i would want to do like scottish or like okay apparently there's croatian witchcraft and i'm mostly croatian so maybe i'll look into that but i'm doing other things right now i don't know but that's cool anyways then i have this and i think it's a sapphire it's actually my mom's class ring isn't it cute mine the class i did not get my class ring because it was ugly it didn't look cute like this sapphire um i don't know what it actually does i think it's for like strength or protection i don't know sapphire feels very mature to me it makes me feel like a very mature woman but that's probably because i've been thinking about my mom too um you don't have to think about your mom you can think about like any if you don't like your mom if you don't you can just think of like any like powerful like kind of like not like ma not necessarily maternal but just like just like a strong older woman you know what i mean i feel like we don't think enough about the older girls in the space so you can think about that clutter rings are, are for um i mean they're for like relationships you know um but you can think about it doesn't need to necessarily be romantic love um it's any sort of strong um healthy relationship you have if you have one um lol just kidding any, any friend anyone anyone remember a strong our strong, our strong fem, our strong fem energy. We have this. We have a. Um, it also just makes me think about like how I'm excited to age, which I am, for the record. Although some of you girls aren't, which I think is a little lame. Anyways, um, we have an emerald. This actually was also my mom's, from like the '90s. Um, I don't know. I think this one's fun. I wear this one like every single day, and I just think it's like a fun, like kind of like like a burst of energy. I have this really cute butterfly one um not real diamonds unfortunately just kidding um but um my partner gave it to me and i think it's like super like i think it's super cute because it's just like it's like a butterfly i feel very like very social like very like fun like very like just like i don't know like butterflies are, like the ultimate like queens of like the internet and sick world like they're so glam and like for what and i love that then i might be sign up wearing this like every single um, since I bought it, it's literally so rested now. I got it at their store for four dollars, and I don't know. It brings me back to like peace, like like peace of mind, like not just peace of mind, like peace. Like I'm, I'm, I used to be a very big happy girl. Um, actually, a lot of this is like this outfit is kind of like a relic of that era, and I still am. Like it's still within me, and I mean like real hippie, like real like. I was very much into the politics of it. I th I still think it's like a big basis of who I am, but I also interested in other things now it's it's there but it's also not the main girl anymore but i like to keep it as a reminder of who i am and who i've been and then i have this moon that is for um well just because it's cool as fuck and people compliment me on it all the time it's i think one of my favorite rings um but i wear this one every day and i think it, I, the moon i have a very i mean don't we all every like every, it's not we all have a connection with the moon but i do i'm a cancer so i feel like with the moon and the tide and i don't know whenever i see the moon i feel like she's protecting me and then i have this really cute like rose quartz that's also a 
busted as fuck, but I don't care because my bestie gave this to me and I care about it. And rose quartz is like good for love, I think. I made this ring. And I think that that's really cool because it reminds me of what I'm capable of. And also, um, I don't know, it always reminds me of, I think it's like very just like cute and like a very like, I love like very like dramatic like medieval stuff. It reminds me of the song Guinevere by Donovan. Anyways, and then I have this one that's a dandelion. And dandelions are cute on its own. Oh, if it'll focus. Hello. Hello. Okay, never mind. Um, but it also says it definitely won't focus on this. But on the inside, it has engraved this too shall pass. Which is, as corny as it is, is like my favorite, like, statement. I love, I love, well, I love all things must pass. Mainly because of George Harrison. But I do, I do like that phrase. And so I bought this mainly because of George Harrison also because I like the phrase and it just is it's, oh it's on the outside why did I lie so this too shall pass believe me it says it okay enough about my rings but you can see I've made a conscious effort not only to give that energy to myself but to give it to you and so um now I'm going to just kind of you feel all that energy in my fingers and now which is not I'm not going to take something from you I'm going to give that energy to you you know what I mean Yeah, I like I I did ballet when I was literally four years old. I have not since then, but I like recently watched a ballet tutorial on how to do the hands. So it's like one, two. I think you actually do ballet, and I did that wrong. I'm really sorry, but I love ballet hands. I think they're just like very graceful. Even though I'm not a ballet girl myself, I think I might do a jazz class soon. But I definitely drop the hand, Mama. I'm more of a Fosse girl myself, but I respect all my ballet girls out there. And now, now that you feel that, I'm gonna give you. I feel like. What I meant for artistic, like you I feel like you may have felt my intention with the rings, but I also I've, I've been thinking a lot about how I feel almost overstimulated, um, like in the world, <laughs> artistic wise, like I, um, I I feel like like I used to feel um like I really really liked um I was really into just like older. And I was like, older oh, music's the best music. Blah, 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 blah. Like, whatever. Um, and then I, like, kind of did, like, not a full 180, but I, like, very much came around on, like, modern pop and just, like, pop in general and, like, really appreciating that history. And, um, yeah, and I just, like, I really, I like everything, but I also, like, I, I think about, like, how I can combine maybe with what I, my morals kind of used to be with what they currently are. Or what they became because it can feel it can feel very scary to have your opinions change rapidly which happens when not, i was gonna say when we were young definitely especially when we we're young but also just in life because it can make you feel like am i not a moral person if my morals can be changed i don't think that's true i think we're like constantly constantly growing we're constantly evolving but i was thinking about that i was like i need to ground myself because you know okay like i used to be a very hippie girl and I was like, this is what's real. It's guitars and dirt. And then, you know, you can see Madonna behind me. And then I became, like, very much of a pop girl. And I, like, I was like, how is it? How, like, why can't the glam be real, too? Why can't the plastic be real? It's all, you know, it's all, like, a natural response to, like, like, like garbage. Like, capitalist society. Like, if that's, like, if, if plastic is created by the world, is that not real, too? It's like it got very much like there and then you know i thought about it and i was like you know like why not both like so that's kind of where i'm at so what i wanted to do so i have you felt all this energy throughout my hands and it obviously has my human aspect to it but it also has all of these kind of peaceful energetic reminders but now 
want to get more into. So that sort of, I feel like it's a nice grounding energy for art. But now I wanted to get into that other conversation that I was kind of bringing up. So a lot of ideas. I'm sorry, this is kind of like wild. Um, but, um, so like this one, this one is a grounding nature tool. I have this lilac lilac perfume this was like purchased as like, at like a festival like this is like this is like real like this is like someone's small business i want to see if the brand is on it i feel it's um l u n oh my god it's scratched off l u n i e s soap co if you're in um in port here on michigan i think it's lo loonies Lonnie Soap Co. in Michigan. Shout out to all my Michiganders. But it's just a little, it's just a little lilac. And that is our grounding energy. Port Huron is a small town, okay? Like that's, and it's on, it's on the sea. It's like, it's very like nature. So I want you to smell that and just really be reminded of the nature that's around you. How does that make artist as a person as someone who wants to create what is it to create in a world that's already been created feel that all of that feel the beauty of the nature that surrounds you that inspires you now um, <laughs> hear me out my other on the other end of the spectrum i have my Nicki minaj big variety bird um, my brother bought this for me. Here she is. We're gonna decapitate her. Sorry, Nikki. So I feel like this really encapsulates my, like, we have, like, nature, and we have glam. And they both exist, and I think it's beautiful, and I think it's beautiful that we can have both, and that we can have a conversation about both, and, you know, to what extent... You know, look what I, I, something I think I've realized is like, it's not, there's no answer. It's just a constant question and reassessment of what we're doing. You know, I don't think you're, like, to ask yourself, well, what am I selling out? I don't think you're selling out by, like, being paid for what you do. Like, yes, it's selling, but it's not selling out. But if, you know, you, like, sign, like, a billion dollar record deal and, like, to like monitor your statements it's like okay well you know so it's a question it's a reassessment so we felt the nature now we feel the city girl lifestyle you know i feel that <laughs> very alcohol <laughs> induced smell that the raw that highly contrived highly developed scent <laughs> that does not come to nature that does not come to the woods that comes to the city life and feel that because there's a lot of there's energy everywhere it's in the woods it's in the cities none of that energy is fake it all was created somehow you know if we can see it it's real you know it's wrong to say that something is fake just because it's contrived. You know? I do like things that are that are created, that are curated. I think that that's really fun as well. I think it's another way you can play with artistic expression. Do you feel that smell? It's coming over you. We've been grounded. We felt the scent of the pine, the scent of the city. And now, I have, oh, I mentioned, I have rocks. I have rocks. I really like this one. I don't remember what it's called, because I'm not a crystal girl like that. But 
I remember I bought this because it said that it had like teaching and guiding properties to it. Anyways, wow, hope so. There we go. And as I feel that I am in a way teaching right now, teach, teaching, I'm expressing my thanks to someone. you know, because you do know a lot. And what are we, when you're creating something creatively, are you teaching? Do you have the intent to teach? If it does, or perhaps, I do think that when we create something, something that was, you know, very much thought through and contrived by ourselves, I do think, you know, we teach in a way, it may not be necessarily political or educational, but it could be emotional. Talking about your emotions is educational because you're showing someone something that you are thinking and explaining yourself to them and in a way that can open up something emotionally. And that's just as important as anything else. I'm sorry if I'm really going off the deep end here, but I feel like I'm like, like I'm, I'm making a point. I wonder what I do because um, like you can't go wrong with amethyst. I love amethyst. It's my favorite because my favorite color is purple. My favorite color is purple. This is more of a calming one. I want you to have your center right here, right here. But I also think that as much as we are calm, and we try to focus our energy on calm. I don't think that calm is the end goal of life. I don't think calm is the end goal or necessarily somewhere we're trying to reach. I think that calm is something that we maintain kind of in the background, like a white noise, or like a Brian Eno album. It's like a nice little like droning sound that exists that we can go to, that we can go back to, but isn't necessarily a final destination. And I do think that a lot of art celebrates the chaos, and I think that's what a lot of us do. I think we need more chaos, quite frankly, in the artistic world. I'm so glad we're over, like, the, like, I don't know. I feel like we were in a really bad era for pop music a couple years ago. I'm glad that we're in, like, more of a chaotic space now. But rock's a little boring right now. But it's okay, because I'm going to save it. Just kidding. Oh, well. Wow. I'm going to be more like Kate Bush, but don't worry. We need, we need more of and I, one other thing I was going to say, um, I have another rock to show you, but give me one second. I remember, this is, again, this is like kind of like basic stuff, but like, someone said this and it did resonate with me. It was like, you know, like your strength, artistically, or in any endeavor that you have, your strength is that you can't do it like anyone else. It's because no one else can do it like you. You know what I mean? You understand? You understand? You're picking up what I'm putting down. Like, there, the, what you have is that you can do things in a way that no one else can. And I think that that's really beautiful. Is that your strength, you know, your strength is your, oh, your strength is your you, but like, you can't do it like anyone else because they can't do it like you. The next one, I think this will be my last little rock. Rock. I think... I honestly shouldn't guess what this is. I don't know. It kind of looks like that one, like, crest toothpaste. But it's a little guardian angel, and I love her. This is a little reminder that we have someone looking out for us. Whether you believe in, like, a guardian angel, or, like, God, or, like, nature, or, like, the woods, or, like, I don't know. Whatever you believe in. Well, maybe you don't believe in this, but I do believe that there's plan for all of us, which I do like to think about, because when you, like, really want to do something creatively, it can feel like kind of hitting a bunch of dead ends. But remember that even if, even if you're the only one to see something, it's still amazing to finish something. It feels really great, you know? It reminds you that you are capable.
of the shell. I found this. I found this at the beach. Mm. I like water. I like the sound of water. I've been feeling like I think maybe I need to start like listening to like wave sounds just like on the street because I, like I always listen to music like like I listen to like hours of music a day and like recently I feel like I've been like it like doesn't like penetrate like you know what I mean like sometimes you like listen to music and it feels like right noise even though it's like a song I think I'm like a little overstimulated in that way which was another thing I wanted to like combat with this video although I feel like my presence is a bit overstimulating I'm sorry if it is I talk a lot but we'll see a little C a little C ish out another thing I wanted to do we have a C we have rock which is like the earth we have hmm do a flame, but based on the amount of alcohol in that Nicki Minaj perfume, I don't think I will. But imagine the flame. Imagine the flame. It says, you go squirrel. Imagine the flame. Imagine that energy. I think that was a good order that I did things. I don't know, it actually wasn't intentional. Um, right, we have, we have the air, we have the atmosphere that we are in, that we feel maybe perhaps overstimulated by grounded and you're grounded and then we ignite the flame once again that is going to fuel us fuel our motivation fuel our art and now that we feel let me do it it'll be fine and now that the spark is lit I'm gonna do one thing for you. I'm gonna get you glam because you can't, you have to be no more boring art, okay? It's gonna be interesting. And so I'm gonna put a couple jewels on your face, which other, it's not the most original idea. At least you'll look a little crazy when you walk out of the house. It's a big one. And a red one. And I think a purple one. There we go. And a purple one. Just to remind you, don't make anything boring or I will get mad. Just kidding. Oh. And now, one more thing. Because of how bright you're shining, you shouldn't forget your sunscreen, your protection. This, um, <laughs> this is sponsored by City Bike Pride. Oh. And they gave it to me for free yesterday. Um, anyways, um, this is to symbolize how even though you're shining so brightly and it's so important, you also need to make sure that you're protecting yourself and taking breaks when needed and when are appropriate. Smells good. Okay, city bike. Okay, city bike. Is there like perfume in there? Probably a little bit. Perfume in here for more drug. Okay. It's like not important, I know. Fragrance. Yeah, true. Anyways, um. It's not like coconut. It's very nice. Anyways, and the coconut is also a reminder of the sea and the water that has cleansed you before and anyways um i hope that this makes you feel i know it's like very chaotic i feel like um this is sexually loosely inspired by i feel really bad because i can't remember where it's from but there was like this thing that um i saw on tiktok i think it's a series unless if it comes from somewhere else and i'm stupid but it was like called like poet's medicine and it's kind of just like a, like a series of like absurdist videos which i kind of love because like like 
feel better to like cleanse you than just like pure absurdity I feel you know so I feel like you know you felt you felt everything you felt nothing you felt every influence you felt every everything I also have this snow globe from Texas which is I just love snow globes that's really all I thought about when I picked this up but I love snow globes and I love it because Think about this. This is beautiful. It's a highly contrived object. I mean, they, they put together this scenario and they made it happen. And it's literally snowing in Texas, which makes no damn sense. But it is beautiful. So, I guess the note I want to end on is even if your idea maybe doesn't make a lot of sense, think about the person who invented a Texas snow globe. But there are probably people who told him he was wrong, or her that she was wrong, or them, and told them, you know, this is dumb, and this no one will buy this, and yet here it's here in my hand. So whatever, whatever thing you want to get up to, there's someone out there for it. Even if that person is only you, that's a good enough. endeavors, your creative endeavors. I hope that this did something. Um, <laughs> if maybe just entertain you. But I, I enjoyed it. Um, this is like not for engagement at all, but like, I, like I, I mean it. But if you have any like cool creative things, like let me know about it. Like I'd, I'd love to see what people are doing. Bitch, especially in New York. I'm trying to get out more. Just kidding. Oh, well, I have, like, no money. But, um, yeah. Let me know if any of you are working on anything. And I wish you all the best of luck in your endeavors. Oh, this one. It's from Knowledge, I think. And, like, Expertise. I think this one's Tiger's Eye. So, yeah. Knowledge for your pursuit. And best of luck with all you're going to do going to do and you're probably going to bed right now and if you're not um have an amazing rest of your day if you're going to bed then sleep about it and think about how you're going to do amazing things in the morning